This is a tea sauce instrumental. Yo, yo, what up? It's Fro Thizzle in the building. Ha ha. Let's light one up. Tony, what up? What up? What we up? in the building, right? We're gonna do it like this. this. Tony talk. Listen up to Tony talk. Tony talk. Listen up to Tony talk. Crack a brew, pull a chair, light it up. Uh. Tony talk, listen up to Tony talk. Salcedo, he be the Mexicano. The boss in the building believe that he be El Macho. Interviewing the making, the voice of the people. Try to shut the show down, your attempts be feeble. Follow the leader, acknowledge the one with the mic. We can even bring the ladies in and party all night. Pull up a chair, take a seat, broadcast on. Cool as can be when we blast raw rap songs. Roll up a bleezy, how we make it seem so easy. Throw up the PC, West Coast, oh so steez. No joke in the breeze, palm trees, Venice Beach, OC. Listen up to Tony talk when he speak. He got your favorite guest, your favorite rapper. He got all of your favorites, your favorite actor. actor. Tony on the talk, Tony Montana. Keep your ears open cause Tony got the answers. Tony talk, listen up to Tony talk. Tony talk, listen up to Tony talk. Crack a brew, pull a chair, light it up. Uh. Tony talk, listen up to Tony talk. What up, world? It's your boy Sky Watley checking in, and I will be on the Tony Talk Showcase tonight. Debuting my new single on the Southern Soul charts, They Changed Me. Yes, I'm the Prince of Southern Soul. As a new player in town. I used to hang out. Found me a really good I used to hang out. I don't do the thing I used to do. Until the morning sun, from the king of diamonds to Boogaloo. But then Shawnee came around and she really put it down. Made me give up my crew. I ain't saying I'm still like to go out and party all around the clock. But can't nobody party like my Shawnee, cause my Shawnee just don't stop. I used to hang out.
If you got a babe right now, then grab her real, real tight and say, I love you, babe. Say, you change it, babe. You change it, babe. What up, more G? What's going on, Tony? You all right, brother? Good, good, man. How you doing? Man, can't complain, brother. Just trying to knock it out the box, brother. Trying to get on top of these charts. How you been doing, brother? Good, man. Just chilling, man. You know, working. Working on the podcast, getting more music sent in. You know, doing interviews like this, man. You know, it's a pleasure. You know, I appreciate you guys coming on to the, to the show. You know what I mean? Man, we appreciate the, the opportunity, brother. Like I said, man, I definitely want to stay in touch with you, keep a relationship with you. We know we got some new coming out. We want to definitely let you uh, have dibs on whatever we got coming out new. We last recorded a new video last week. It should be debuting next week. Okay, okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Sky What's Wally, up? how you doing? What's up, my brother? How y'all doing? What's that? All right, all right. So, how you guys doing tonight? Guess everything's good. You guys ready for the interview? Oh, yes, sir. Sure. Okay, for sure. All right. Um, well, first off, can you tell us a little bit about who you got, who you guys are, and what you guys do? Yeah, right. shout out. So my, I'm the artist. I'm Sky Watley, formerly known as Nut Skywalker. Um, early in my earlier years, I was um, helped, uh, created with JT Money, legendary Miami artist. Who that helped create? Who that song okay. on Chevy Game was considered a Southern classic. Um, that we are really uh, right now. We're in a remake with a couple uh, big artists out of Miami. That's doing the top five movement that we put together at Rick Ross car show a couple weeks ago that's coming soon but um, right now I'm in the space of the Southern Soul um, we co- recorded a record called Bay Change Me um, dropped it about a month ago not even just you know just trying to test it out at a trail ride and ever since then it's just been the numbers just been going crazy right and um, we hit top number seven in May in the top 40 Southern Soul charts on ideas for like Southern Soul where all the big boys play at right so ever since okay. then there's been radio stations and, and DJs picking it up it's top the number ones on a lot of stations Flint, Michigan uh, Arizona, uh, Arkansas Mississippi Alabama so the shows just start pouring in now and we're here with you right now so we look forward to the new project um, I haven't don't have a title yet but I got another couple of records about to drop um, which is uh, Blue Strip Hunters featuring Love, featuring love Trial who helps and produce and write with me um, a couple of different ones trail ride shawty you know what I'm saying but it's, it's a lot of fun coming with it we uh you enjoy doing it. it it comes naturally man and we entertain us in the south this new thing called southern soul and trail ride music is big right now man yeah i've been hearing a little bit about a little bit of it uh, some of the some of the people you guys work with have been sending in the tracks man they're pretty catchy you know they're great tracks great music all the way around you know and that that track you released bay changed me that's a good it's a pretty good track it's a catchy track you know, it's real Southern soul, like you say, you know. Um, can you tell me, like, what first what first got you into music, man? Like, what, what would you start off listening to? What some of the artists oh, yeah. inspired you? So, yeah, so I've been doing music since, like, I got a documentary out on me already, like, on YouTube. If you check it out, Sky White. I was singing quartet since I was, like, four, five, like, church music. My dad, he's well known over here in the Southeast in quartet. Like, he's, like, a legend on this side. Uh, so he's been in quartet since I was a kid. So I would tell him and start performing with him and stuff like that at a certain age. But I start. And then when I got in school, eight while MJG was my, that was my, and I ended up working with them on a project before. Uh, but like just doing that and uh, like I was inspired by a lot of poetry fans. Of course, I ended up working with JT and tour with him for years. And I still do dates with him. Um, Outcast, Goody Mob, and Big Gip, my cousin, uh, Goody Mob. Um, 
So it's just been, I done record with them and toured with them, did dates. It's just a lot of things that just came, you know what I'm saying? Like naturally, like, you know, you see it and then it happened, right? It's just like uh, this I record. You. I was like, I always want to touch into this mark when I heard it. Uh, Cause it got that quartet feel. It's really a quartet. So I look at like quartet is on Sunday and Southern Soul is on Saturday night. You feel what I'm saying? So yeah. the same yeah. audience is just, they party on Saturday night and then they sing on Sunday morning. <laughs> 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 No, I feel you, man. I feel you. So, like, what inspired that track? Like, what was, like, the like the whole thing behind it? Like, what inspired that track, Bay Changed Me? So, Bay Changed Me, like, right now, I'm married, of course. I used to be your bad boy, Rick Flair. And Rick okay, James, okay. what they call my nickname, Rick, Little Rick James, right? <laughs> <laughs> I had a damn song in Atlanta, and it was big. I had to call him Rick James, bitch, back then in those days, right? But, um, yeah, yeah. like, that lifestyle, and then, um, been married a couple years now, but it just got a son in Morehouse and I got a two-year-old now that's crazy right but it just settled me down a little bit to get put everything in perspective and to um, you know pace myself for the race right yeah, exactly. just learning so no, exactly. hard and pace myself for the end so I think like a lot of things in that, in that record I'm telling you about where I'm suited and booted like I'm wearing tailor suits and, and doing all these things I wouldn't do it but I should be as a grown man right to be an example to the, to the youth um, right. but um you know, like it just changed. You know, what I'm saying a lot of things I think of before I do it or I execute. Yeah, okay. Uh, Wardy, like, what, like, what did you think about that track when you first heard it? Like, you're like, whoa. Well, it, it's it's crazy. Uh, let me just give you a little. Yeah, yeah. Scott met. We met uh, on a humble. We had a mutual friend. Had him invented this house. Uh, met Scott. I heard Scott talk about Southern Soul and Quartet. I'm a musician myself. I've been I've been doing this for about 25 years. I put okay. on the bachelor side now. So I, me and Scott started talking to him, me, him, and my guy, Love Child. He, that's 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 uh, that's Scott's product. He's coming out after Scott next couple okay. days. But uh, yeah, talk with Scott, man. We just started building from that evening. And he was like, dog, I have an idea for something. Uh, you think you could help me? He was like, yeah, just shoot it to us. He sung it to us. And within the next day and a half, we had a record. Uh, we right. went in, we recorded it. He told us what he wanted to do. It sounded just like he said he wanted the sound. Brother, once we related, it, we all each other like, yeah, we got something. So we knew when we related, when he when he recorded the vocals, we knew we had a hit record. We're just trying to get it out to the world. That's perfect, man. That's badass right there. That's good, man. That's good. Exactly. So, like, how would you guys describe your music if you had to describe it? I mean, I, I, I think it's natural. Um, it's, it's very southern, but I think it's something like where you root from, right? So, whether you're from the West Coast or 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 um, north or whatever midwest everybody yeah. kind of came from this sector over here right mississippi is the georgia's the alabama's that's where we all really originated from right so it, right. it's like that food man you know what i'm saying it's that broccoli it's that it's that salad it's that meat it's that bit you know what i'm saying like you're gonna feel it when you're on your okay. motor you getting your drink on that's who you are you that what you used to do now you with your baby you feel what I'm saying like yeah, I used yeah, to do yeah. this baby but you got me you might be joking with a girl you changed all this girl you know what I'm saying you did this baby they change me. Yeah, you yeah, change. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get yeah. y'all some cool I'm trying to get you some cool points you know what I'm saying like she gonna let you out the house after you play that you know, like, oh, yeah, you gonna hang out with your no, boys I feel you man I feel you, you gonna hang out with your boys tonight <laughs> yeah no <laughs> that's, that's crazy man no what is your creative process like, man? When you go, when you wrote that song, or when you write any song or verse or anything? I mean, I, I I hear it first, like you know what I'm saying. I hear concepts. How I approach the record is more like, uh, like the actual events, like like events or experience I see or I've seen. So it's more like if I got a record, like I do this every day, it's more like I, I try to catch up the things that I wish I could do. I, the, the lifestyle I live now, I can't do the shit I used to do in the hood, right? Yeah. But if I could do it every day, so I write the record like that. I, mean, I, I can see and do this all day, but I know I can't. You see what I'm saying? But I write the record like I'm doing it all day long. You see what I'm saying? Or the blue shirt yeah, running. Yeah, I, I would write. I write in a space where if I could do it all this way to the stream, I would do it. But then I bring the reality into it. Like, but the flip side is I'm changed now. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this is shit I used yeah. to do. So I try to put the respect. I um, mean, the perspective okay to do this but you gotta have a point where you transition to something else where you know what I'm saying you don't take yourself out no that's true that's a good way to look at it man that's tight um who would you like the most to collaborate with right now if you can collaborate with anybody out there man? 
and Southern Soul. Uh, and anything. Oh, anything. So Southern Soul first. I I would like to do um, King George. Um, okay. Arthur Jones. That's who we we about to work with him though right now. Okay, that's better. He, I like his his approach on records. He fun, have fun with it. Um, Love Child. We already got him. We working him. He under, he under me my protege. Um, but like I work with a lot of artists I want to work with already. Like I've sung hooks for a lot of them that's out. Um, I helped create the party like a rock star. That that whole the hood rock movement. That's what I'm known for in Atlanta, creating that okay. movement, getting T Pain started. So it's like it's my time. I mean, not my time. It's just you know like I can transition. I did the rock music, all different elements music. So it's like who I want to work with now. It'd be. Like I said, I like the new kid, uh, Kingfish. It's a kid that's playing on the guitar blues kid I, I've been checking out. He, he pretty big, young kid. Mind you, like a BB King, but like I was mm-hmm. like confused. Young boy. One of all the Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. and then another artist I, I, I think is dope as shit is Gary Clark Jr. Yes, sir. Okay. So I would okay. love to work with Gary Clark Jr. like on some big shit. Like, so, you know, and very, Kanye, very... Kanye is like one of my favorite artists, though, like from, from approaching the record and, and reinventing themselves and like really pushing their limit on the artistic side of it yeah this is a, that's true man this was a talented artist right there man yeah, definitely you know definitely you can see that happening you know what I mean um if you guys did any shows or you guys have any shows coming up oh yeah so we are t- on Saturday um Hopkins South Carolina and then we're here with the NAACP on Juneteenth uh in the square downtown Atlanta um with Leandria Johnson, it's crazy how the records are sold. That, like I said earlier, Southern Soul put you in gospel shows or like festivals. You know what I'm saying? So you need different yeah. type of artists. These Grammy Award winning artists. Yeah. Then we got uh, Selma, Alabama coming up. We got uh, Birmingham. We got Saluda. We got Spartanburg, Meridian, Mississippi. We got a lot of dates. Like it's it's pouring in. Like what you can talk to about it, like how the dates pouring in. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Since since uh, since. The world has heard Sky and Big Change, brother. Uh, it hasn't been hard to book shows. Uh, we got, like we just told you, we have uh, July 23rd. We're in Fairfield, Alabama. Uh, September, uh, August 6th, we're in Saluda, South Carolina. And we're in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Uh, on 13th, 13th, Selma. Yeah, we'll be in Selma, Alabama. So we got, we, we, we definitely got it rolling. And uh, as you just mentioned to you, also, he's going to be doing June 18th, uh, next week on June 18th. He'd be open for Grammy Award winning and Sunday's best one, Leandra Johnson. She's a renowned gospel singer, one of the best gospel singers in the world at the time right now. But Sky would be the open one to bring her on the day. That's badass, man. So, you guys are working, you guys are moving, man. That's, that track, you know, get, got you guys in motion. That's good, though. That's tight, man. That's in 30 days, man. That's crazy, man. That's how it works. You know what I mean? When everything, when everything's going vibe, you know, get the vibe going, you get, get the momentum going, it works, you know? It's grassroots, yeah, man. All- look. You know the grassroots. I I, 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 I kind of put it like I think that's the but way to go. You can make it. It's much more budget, but it's something about when you got the grassroots. You know what I'm saying? We build itself on the ground up, and that's the real fans, that's the exactly. real supporters. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't no hype on it. It's just good music and quality. Yeah, like you, like they'll say you got a thousand listeners, but those a thousand, all those a thousand listeners listen every day. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. I feel you. That's you good, man. That's good. Be, Influences, but they can't influence you to buy. You see what I'm saying? It's two different. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Different. You know what yeah. I'm saying? No, it's true. It's true. What's your favorite song that you created? I know you only have the "They Changed Me" out right now, but of all the tracks you have made in your in entire like your entire life, like which one of your favorite tracks that you created? Oh, Chevy Game with JT Money. Okay. That's the biggest okay. record. Like Chevy Game was took me around, and like, and it's still like we dropped that in like 2002, and it's still okay. like the new like. They were just, it was like the theme song for Rick Ross' car show that he just had. You heard about the car show? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, that's that bad. If you look at all the videos, you see Chevy Game, that's me and JT Money. Okay. Like, that's, that's me cool. on the hook I wrote, produced it. Like, and like, okay, just 20 cool. years later, man, you know what I'm saying? That's no, right. no, I feel you, man. And now they, like, I don't want to miss nothing. Big oh, like, Broward, you know, just think who Trump let out. I'm saying they about to redo this record, man. I already done dropped yeah, them no, that's You know what I'm saying? Just think about sure. Miami, Florida, who the biggest star down there. Sound like Yak. You know what I'm saying? But like, they I already done the <laughs> hook, man. They just getting <laughs> their clear. You know, they getting it cleared. And, and Cody P, you know what I'm saying? And it's about to go. 
Yes, sir. That's badass, man. That's badass. I have, a, I have a couple more questions for you, man. What's what's one of the most spontaneous things you've done in the music or in life? Whatever you would like to share. Most spontaneous. Let me tell you, I, I had to back in, man. What's up, Steven? Right? People didn't think. They was like, oh, this is like, because okay. I was like the rock star, man. And I'm a vice president of a bank. I, I, I just left the largest institution in, 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 its, in the U.S. institution to go to a um, uh, uh, African American owned bank where I'm a VP at now. So when I tell people that, it's like when I just said, "Hey, I'm going." People didn't think I was going to do it, but I had a marketing degree and I just That's did it. it was spontaneous, but I had to do it. I had to do it time in '08 when, when, when the when kind of stuff because of, you know, the recession. I had to do what I do, but I, you know, what I'm saying so. You know, it was just that was spontaneous. Good, man. I you switched, just kept and, hustling. I hum- humbled myself because people knew me like, damn, that's Skywalker. Like, but shit, I had to do what I had to do. I had a son, you know what I'm saying? But it pays off yeah, now. I, I, think by, no. I, I think by me doing that, humbling myself and, and, and putting it first, now these are my rewards later. You see? No, I feel you, man. That's good. That's tight, though, man. That's good that you did that, you know, and that you have that. And it's always good to know about money, know about banking and all that, you know, because that's always going to be around. You know what I mean? You always got to transition, man. Music can be seasonal in any profession. Exactly. You know, at ages, certain age, you got to know how to reinvent yourself and keep what you no, exactly. got. That's the key. Keep what you got. No, exactly, man. Exactly. What's one of your biggest goals in life? The biggest goal is be, the, you know, the father, of course, like the legs that I leave okay. for them, right? The biggest goal that I have set for myself is to be uh, the father, which is my kids' kids, should be able to eat off the brand I build or the assets okay. I leave behind. That's, true. that's what's up, man. That's that's good. That's good to have that. You know what I mean? Um, yes, you guys have any last words for everyone listening out there before we end the year? No, check this out. My name is Sky Wiley. I am the Prince of Southern Soul. It's a new guy in town, right? But I want y'all to go follow this. Me on all platforms. Sky Watley, S K Y W H A T L E Y. All platforms, man. Bay change me. Play it for your girl. Play it for yourself. When you think you're about to do the wrong thing, play it again and see how far you came with your <laughs> with your bait. Your bait can be he, her, she, he, whatever pronoun you want to put it on. Hey, it's for you. All right. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you, War G and Sky Watley. Thank you, guys. Hey, Tony. Ward I got G, one more yeah, thing I want to say before give we Give me your booking information. There you go. Okay. Yeah, any, any, anybody interested in booking Sky Wadley, uh, you can reach me directly, 404-640-9696. Also, you can reach me at nucleusent at gmail.com. That's my email address. I'll spell it out for you. N-U-K-L-E-U-S-E-N-T at gmail.com. Also, tomorrow morning, uh, between 6 and eight, between six and 7 a.m., Sky's going to have his Atlanta debut on, on uh, Major Radio 89.3 WRFK. Tomorrow morning on uh, Dr. Blues, Blues special tomorrow morning. So, so on the West Coast, that'll be morning. like 9 or something, right? <laughs> that Actually, on the West Coast, that'll be about 3 in the morning. It'll be 6 or 3 in the morning. Then. Yeah, so, that's okay. 3 hours behind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you guys later. All Thank right, you, Tony. Man, appreciate we appreciate the opportunity, brother. Peace. All right, man. Peace. Peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is Primo with Tony's Talk Showcase. All artists, you guys want to send in your music, send it in to Tony. Your MP3s or your waves, make sure you send it in to Tony's Talk Showcase at gmail.com. Send it in. Let's go. Let's go.